morning and welcome to the Kicks 96.5 morning show. Four minutes past the hour of 8 o'clock. We love showcasing any artists on the show. And this morning, we're heading to Saskatchewan, Canada to chat with singer-songwriter Conrad Big Knife. Conrad's voice has captivated audience for decades. And he just released his latest single called Best of Me. And it's filled with soul. We're excited to have Conrad Big Knife on the show. First, Conrad, thanks for coming on. Thanks for having me. Well, man, you never know what's going to happen when you release a song. This one, a little bit different from your cur- your former stuff, Conrad, but wow, different song. You didn't know what was going to happen. You've had 700 radio stations at it. Yesterday, the thing's on Sirius in Canada. What's happening? Well, uh, you know, that is a, it's a surprise to me. It's You know, it's uh, one of those... The, the song just came out of nowhere. We were uh, We were writing for a new album. And uh, and we took a little sidetrack, and uh, I started listening to some smooth jazz just to kind of clear my mind, and you know, instrumental stuff. And the like, being a former bass player, uh, the uh, stand-up bass, the upright bass was was like or, was really prominent in the song, and I was like, that is such a nice sound. And and so I, I talked to my songwriting partner, my wife Shannon. She does all the lyrics. Uh, and I said, you know, there's something about this style that just feels nice and relaxing. So it's like, you know, we could use use some of that in in some of our music. So we got we wrote a song, and I I got got got, got a um, upright bass player to play it, and it just turned into something like, wow! It didn't even feel like we wrote it. It was just like <laughs> we were listening to somebody else's creation, and it was like, this is kind of feeling pretty good. So we started exploring that, and it's like, you know what, maybe we should just come up with, just release something, uh, a few songs, and, and you know, with, in a different genre. And it feels like it's just fit. Yeah. Well, I mean, were you looking for a new direction? or Because, I mean, you've been primarily country. Was it just because your bass passed? What was it? I, you know, I, I think there was part of it that, you know, in the past year, you know, the past couple of years, you know, with, with the whole shutdown of the world yeah. is, you know, uh, you know, you start thinking about things and, you know, re- uh, reality really sits in and it's like, well, what, what have we been doing? And I love country music and I've been country music since, you know, day one. And, uh, you know, Missing, I guess, you know, you, you, people talk about, you know, the, the stories that are missing in country music. And uh, and it's like, well, it's not really just country music, though. It's, it's all, any, any type of music that, that makes you feel something is, you know, worthwhile. Yeah. So, um, you know, and, you know, I, like I said, I love country music. And and I'm still in it. I still I still show with with a band. I have a I yeah. am front, I found a band right now, and we and we do all the classic '90s and the legends, you know, Merlin, Waylon, Willie, uh, you know. And I love it. We, we're 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 book solid all through summer. So, uh, but just you know, music. It's it's you know you start out as a musician. Uh, and and you like music. You don't like your genre. You just like music, no matter you know, whatever style of music it is. Anything that kind of talks to you, then it's that's what you you know a person enjoys the most. So as far as playing, it's it's nice as a musician to you know kind of stretch your stretch your wings a little bit and you know and uh, try try a few different things. And this soul music and I, I, I guess I'm basing it really around like the the uh, early to mid 70s yeah soul and R&B um, you know I don't I don't find them that much different than a lot of country music so you know it's but it feels nice to just experiment and uh, we, so we thought well let's just give it a try uh-huh. uh, you know <laughs> well, so yeah. far so good. It's working with the with the first single, "Best of Me." You're going to hear it here pretty soon. You mentioned your wife Shannon. She's also uh, an artist herself. She does a lot of paintings. What? It's crazy. You just mentioned it. she writes the lyrics, so you write the music. Yeah, uh, she she comes up with songs, and then she basically just tells me it's like, well, this is the feeling. This is what it, the song is about, and she she explains the the emotion with it i guess because that's how i that's how i compose it is with emotion it's a, it's yeah. like 
well, you know, the best way to convey the message or, you know, and, uh, you know, so, it's, yeah, it's, it worked. It's been working out for 20 years for us. So, we're, you know, happy. Yeah, it's it's working. Uh, Conrad Big Big Knife, go check him out. ConradBigKnife.com. He's on Facebook, Instagram. Uh, his latest single, "Best of Me," you're going to hear it here shortly, is out now. Last week was National Indigenous Peoples Day. You grew up on Star Blanket First Nation outside of Saskatchewan. We're I'm here south. I'm in Wyoming. We're south of the Crow Reservation in Montana. Tell us how it works in Canada. Is it reservations? How, what's the Star Blanket First Nation? Uh, Star Blanket First Nation is a, a, a Plains Cree, I, I believe. That uh, you know, it, that's a that's a funny question because I all our lives we, we grew up and we didn't even we didn't even know we were on a reservation. Yeah, we just we we just you know we we did all the. You know, cattle farming and and, and you know um, farm life. So uh, it, it's hard to even explain what it's about until you know I was until my teens actually. <laughs> I I didn't realize we lived on a reservation, so we weren't uh, brought up in you know a lot of the traditional uh, indigenous customs and 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 that kind of thing because my uh, my grandparent my grandparents were very. Uh, modern, yeah. and, you know. I mean, I mean, they said, "Look, the world is changing. It, it, it's going to be tougher, you know. So, you know, just get educated and 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 live in the world but, yeah, and the future world." So we didn't do a whole lot of, you know, traditional teachings and stuff, which is which I look back at now and I think, well, that was. I wish we would have. Yeah. But just like you said, just kind of like around here, get educated, go be successful for your own self. You know that, that way to do it anyway, or to way, way, yeah, to, way I, to survive. I, that's what it is, survival, I guess. You know. Yeah. Well, you didn't have a gig, so did you do anything special? Uh no. We we wrote. <laughs> we, <laughs> like it's. It's it's kind of I guess to to sum it up it's it's like a rejuvenation of the music yeah you know it, for a while for quite a while you know it was becoming it's like you know we weren't inspired to write and, and things and we just you know we, we just played but with this all of this now it just it feels like we're starting over again I guess kind of tapping into seeing where this type of genre goes like I I mean it's it's hard to get away from the country roots. You know, yeah. um, you know, no matter what style of music it is, it's it's always there. And I'm having to retrain myself singing because I've, you know, I've uh, stimulated the 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 twang in in you know singing country music, and uh, and then singing this new style of music. Well, I got to figure out a different way to sing because I end up singing like Fang, you know. <laughs> and I'm like, well, that's not really jazz. So you know, you got to learn to you know. Yeah. Enunciate your words a little bit better, so it's it's uh, it's it's a challenge again, which yeah. is which I find really exciting. Well, exactly, it's exciting, a, a new venture. Yeah, it's a little yeah. different different uh, approach to singing jazz or soul or R and B or whatever you want to call it, besides uh, just country. But your music yeah. last year, you were on a couple TV shows. Yeah, we mentioned it. You're on Sirius. You're on the Indigenous Countdown. You're still an indie artist. So how are you doing it, Conrad? Has it been Pound of the pavement for twenty years. Now things are finally happening. Well, I think I changed. We changed our, our attitude about the music uh, industry, as if you will. Uh, right with the, with a new group right now. Like we're creating our own work. Uh, you know, like you know, we we are not plan we are not doing tours of country bars and places like that. Like we're we're going out to the legions and you know performing for legions, and sometimes that's. That's in you know three o'clock in the afternoon. Yeah. So we're not up. At, we're not up at two in the morning loading gear <laughs> out of the bars and you know this kind of thing. So we're creating our own buzz. And uh, like my current drummer is now my business partner. So we uh, so we, you know, we we brainstorm ideas of how to keep busy and not fall into the you know everybody's that knocking on one door, and we're figuring out a different way to you know keep busy and it's been working 
super. So we're working, we're working smarter, not harder. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to do it. You mentioned your band; they're called Detour. Uh, you're the front man for them. Uh, you changed a while ago, and you said we're only doing '90s country, which is right. probably pretty fun. Yeah, it was, I mean that's that's been the biggest uh, biggest part of of our work now. Like it, it's people are asking for it, and so we 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 deliver it. If, like and it's, again, it's there's a few hits from today. You know, you know uh, like you know Wagon Wheel and yeah. Darius Rucker and stuff. a couple of new songs like that. But it's mostly Brooks and Dunn, George Strait. Uh, you know, the '90s guys, and 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 we try we try and find all the dance hall type songs and so it's been working great and and each time we go out to play we're handing out cards left and right and you know four or five other jobs come up from just one yeah that's... so it, it, it just keeps snowballing into uh what well, we love your 90s country show because we love all those songs we know those songs and this is from ages 25 up to 75 you know so it's just working perfect yeah, well, well and people love '90s country music, so yeah, you got to be you got to be a huge hit wherever you guys are playing. This Kelton, uh, how do you pronounce Kelton's last name? Chez. Kelton Chez was he in D tour for a while? Yes, he was. He he was still in high school when he started with us. There was a lot of places he couldn't come and play with us because he wasn't <laughs> old enough. <laughs> so yeah, he was still in high school and. Uh, and so, and he's off doing his own thing. Uh, you know, we were talking, discussing it over the last few years. And so I, I helped him record his first, uh, his first single. Actually, he used one of our songs as his first single. He released that a, a year, year and a half ago. And then he just came in this past February and uh, rec- wrote his own song. And re- so I helped him. I recorded it and mixed it, and mastered it. And he's uh, so he's he start he's starting to make a name for himself as well. Yeah, how tall is he? He looks like he's seven feet tall. Well, he almost is, but I think <laughs> I think good six five. I would say it's, uh, you know, it's, it's always been like, yeah, we always tried to figure out a way to uh, make it so that it, it didn't look like we were all you know dancing around a tree on stage. And it's like, <laughs> okay, so the rest of us are relatively the same height. <laughs> you know, then you get him, and it's like, well, of course he's going to stick out, you know, and yeah. Right there. You know. He did. When I watched some videos on you guys, I was like, holy cow, who is that tall guy? <laughs> and then I saw him performing by himself, and I was like, that's got to be him, because he's, he's <laughs> tall wherever he goes. I mean, he's yeah. he's, he's a big dude, and then he's got his cowboy hat on that makes him you know three inches taller. Yeah. Well, I mean, he came in, he came aboard the project because he, his, his mother was a bass player in bands in the 90s, and she played in country bands all across Canada type of thing. Uh, so he knows country music. He knows '90s country music more than anybody I know, other wow. than myself. But you know, he—it's like any song, any song where I bring up, oh yeah, and they'll start playing it and they'll sing it. And you know, so he's country. He's country to the core. Yeah. Well, well, Conrad also just mentioned it. He—he's a jack of all trades. You're also mixing. You're mastering. How long have you been producing stuff? You've been do- producing your stuff for a long time. Yeah, I, I think I, I think we started back in the day. Like I met my wife, and she was a sound and lighting tech, and uh, so she would then she became my sound and lighting tech, <laughs> and we we traveled through the mid mid to late nineties and stuff. We started doing the casinos around province, and from that it, it became we didn't need production anymore. So we uh, so we thought okay, well that's all the end of that. So we sold the bus, we sold all the gear. And I made, you know, I put together my first studio, which, uh, you know, kind of embarrassing, but my first, the first computer was, 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 uh, I think, I think the hard drive was like 35 meg. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, those ones, it's Windows 95. Yeah. You know, but, uh, so I, you know, and I thought, you know, it's always been tough for me to, to try and, you know, find the, the, the money to record. So at that point we thought, you know what? Let's just kind of do it now. This, you know, the new uh, digital recording and stuff is becoming a new thing. So we invested in that, and I just learned, 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 learned left and right, and and, uh, um, and it, it's, you know, I guess you know, it, it saved so much for us. You know, we spent, we could spend money on on more on oh, games, yeah. 
you know, advertising, marketing, and, and getting it out there. And uh, and uh, it's it's always been something that I want to do. It's uh, when I when I'm ready to hang up my playing and performing. I, you know, it's like then I'm gonna I start wanting to help you know younger kids, the youth who who don't have that opportunity. Then it's like, well, you come on in and and you know record your song, and I, you know I do it for nothing. Yeah, just because I was there. <laughs> yeah, you know, and, <laughs> I feel so. your pain. Yeah. <laughs> well, what do you enjoy most? I mean, your solo stuff, you're playing with a band, you're producing, or does it all work to kind of keep everything balanced? I well, I I've, I've learned to uh compartmentalize everything. Uh, you know, Monday Monday through Wednesday, it's all it's all the uh solo stuff and writing and recording, you know, demoing up the new songs. Yeah. Uh, Thursday to Saturday, it's um, playing, you know, with the band and, and taking care of that side. Uh, I guess all of it, it's all, it's all, it, but it all melts together because I, I, it's all of it. I mean, I'm deeply enjoying it now, just like I did, you know, back when I started. It was exciting to play. It was exciting to, you know, the next gig, the next thing, and and you're seeing the reaction. Of, of the pe- of people and you know it's uh, it's it just it just brought it all back to day one and it, it just feels so nice to play and I'm happy to do it yeah go check him out Conrad Big Knife is at ConradBigKnife.com he's on Facebook uh Go go and check out his latest single, Best of Me. You're going to hear it here in just a second. Tell us a little bit about the song before we play it, Conrad. Best of Me is basically all about uh, you know. It, Learning lessons, a continuation of learning the same lesson, and, and you know it. It all depends on you know the what what the situation is for each person, but for for us, it, it was more like you know just it's comical, it, you know you it's like okay I'm never I, that's it I'm never going to eat a pizza again, and you swear by it because you can't you know you just but the next day. You're eating a pizza. It's like, ah, you got the best of me again, you little, you know. <laughs> so it's uh, it's just about, it's a comical mistake that you continually make, you know. Uh, so it's basically what it's all about. Well, here we go. Let's hear it. I imagine with the success of Best of Me, there's a lot more soul and R&B heading our way from Conrad Big Knife. Yeah, there is. It's we're right. We're working at it right now. Awesome. More to come. Here's best of me. It's Conrad Big Knife. It's Kicks 96.5.